Hello folks and welcome to Mars the Mission and as we see a space shuttle shooting off back to Earth taking the exports back and yeah this is a map tour of Mars the Mission by Farmer Bob it is 107.52 megabytes to download slot counts is as following for technically new farmer start from scratch it's the same as on new farmer mode. So slot count is 929. You start off with a ton of equipment and I mean you start off with every single bit of equipment you will ever need. So things like tractors, got one small tractor, we got four medium tractors, got a harvester, cotton harvester, skissier loader, Got a Mahindra Retriever, a plethora of traders, sprayers, planters, cedars, cultivator stone pickers, fertilizer, manure system, sorry, forge wagons, and just yeah, there is a lot. So I'm gonna read the description first of all. Welcome to Mars Colony Commander. This map is all about survival, so put your man pants on and let's get started. The features of this map is 1 farmland, 13, 15 fields, 3 factories, 1 cell point, and it says only new farm mode is supported on the map, the others are irrelevant, we'll talk about that in a sec. Use the export to earth port as you see in front of us to sell your products and fruit to earth, and a colony food storage for storing your fruit for the colony. To win the game you'll need to terraform the Mars atmosphere within 20 years. To achieve this you need to plant 10,000 trees, have 20 large beehives, 160 cows, 720 chickens, 195 sheep, 540 pigs and 800,000 years of each of the any 6 crop types in storage bins. So yeah, here we are, we are farming on Mars. We have become interstellar farmers and there are some high points on this map like we're looking at over the main farm areas now. You can go along the ridge lines up here with a equipment, we'll have a look at that in a bit. So yeah, obviously you've got animals, so you've got your pigsty, sheep barn, pigsty, cow barn with feeding robots, sheep barn, sheep barn, another cow barn with feeding robots and chicken cube, so two of each. So yeah, that is enough to get the animals required. And yes, you, even though you start with a lot of money, you do also have all of the production chain. So you've got your oil mills, great processing plant, spinnery, green mill. You start off with, turn that off. One, two, three large greenhouses and the bakery. So if we look at the map, so yeah, there's two parts of this map, and the reason why you can't replay this map technically on the farm manager or start from scratch is because the map is divided into two sections. Got the main bowl here. This is where you can like sort of plant trees along the ridge lines around the area. And you do have the outer exterior of the map as well. And so where we're to we are Actually, ooh, what's over here? Oh, got a farmhouse over here. You've got equipment over here, and yeah, we've got your like silos and production chains. And a lot of this has been put in to help blend in with the map. So, you've got your greenhouses, and yeah, we've got your debris crushers, lime station. So, for example, you can buy your lime over here. And the way you can sort of simulate, you know, scoop it up in that. So yeah, let's go and get a vehicle of choice to tour around. So here we are on the sort of lower left side of the map. And yeah, we thought, yeah, get something with some tracks in that. And I think first of all what we'll do is have a little look of the map itself. So we'll start going up here, up the ramp. And yeah, you can pretty much drive around the entire area, have a look at the farmhouse, 
Oh yeah, but as we go around, we'll just take in the views because even though at the time of recording this, this map, this mod, this rating on the mod hub is quite low. And going around, you'll see the reason behind that. A lot of it is it's all about the immersion. And a lot of this map is it's really got to have imagination because there are some parts of the map where the collisions and that are a bit iffy. So, for example, like here, got a shed, or shed a sort of two door base. Ah, yeah, ooh, that whoosh. Yeah, that sort of simulates the air locker. Yes, there's a couple of little bits like this bit here, like a perfectly flat and that. Or well, you sort of perfectly to ground level. So here at the main sort of central hub of the I'll say. So you got your big bell storages and that over here. So you have a look, so you got your bell cells, the workshop, and the dealership, spinnery, and your main dealership, so but yeah, so you get your vehicles, you go to over here, click on that tab over there. Ah, uh, yeah, this is like a big, massive sun hub within the confines. Oh no, oh, object's too heavy. Actually, oh no, I was thinking, oh, these are intensely like cotton bells, could fall, lift them up in that. Ah, uh, yeah, got your workshop tab over here. Or you help menu trigger here. And yeah, with all the animal pens and everything else, it's all yeah, it's all base game standard, so last thing in this map there are no quarter mods. Uh, if I have a little look. Yeah, there's no mods requirement. As far as I can gather, there's nothing in construction modes. Oh no, there is one thing, there is the oof, Martian silo, the Unio 800 and OBI 1000. So yeah, I'm guessing there'll be extensions with that. Oh, uh, nope. But yeah, besides from that, you also have like, your fertilizer tanks and that. And yeah, it's all compared to like the base game stuff. I'm not sure why that is. We'll have a little look around and see. Farmhouse, tools. But yeah, a lot of it is like, yeah, there's no custom production, there's no anything like that. Cell points? Nope. Nothing special there. Greenhouses? Nothing. Generators? Nothing. And that's one thing that has annoyed me. They're like, around this map, there are solar panels. But they're not being like they're there as a pure aesthetic. And also another thing to know is I just go around like well like these massive lever cranes. It means like look at that. Unfortunately there's no way to get on top of that. Actually I'm sure there's someone who can get creative, but anyways, let's have a little <laughs> drive around. And yeah, as we can take around the map, it's ab absolutely beautiful. The way it is beautiful, it's like, it's something different, like, yeah, we're all used to the same things and that, with our maps and that, on FS22 and that. But yeah, just have a look. We're farming on Mars. And yeah, there are a couple of aspects of this map. Such as the daylight cycle and that, such as you do get weather still, like clouds and that. But that's on the outside, so within the dome now, within the colony dome. If it's within the dome, fair enough. And ooh, what's here? Ah, uh, help menu again. You always forget about those, I rarely have that trigger on. But yeah, so. 
So over here you've got your tree planter, you've got your weights now. So yeah, you can start planting the trees. And has anything been done to you? This is like 10,000 trees here. No, just 20 saplings. Well, let's have a look at these. Let's double check in. Yeah, 20 saplings each, so... That's been nothing special. <coughs> yeah, nothing special, and about four... Oh, we need to plant 10,000 trees. Let's have a planter now. I could do 10,000 trees. But yeah, like, we're taking the sheer vastness of the map. So, like, over there to the right, there's four or five little domes. Three, no, sorry, four of those are going to be your animal pens. Yeah, the farmhouse is just around this rock here to the right. And yeah, you've got your, like, your central hubs in that for your storage in that. Got your cell points as well down here. Also, like, there's a bunch of solar panels down here. Jump down. Eee. And there's their as aesthetics and. I'm, yeah, they're pretty sure are similar to base game, right? So. We go to our tools and that, generators, solar panels. Alright, slightly different. It's like bigger, massive ones. Well, I thought oh, we still have to, Yeah, I thought it'd be good to have. So I feel like those are active. By the way, the perhaps are active. And that's the thing with this map. You do need that imagination in that. And the farmhouse is over here. As we're approaching the edge of the dome. So, yeah, base game farmhouse. That's just your seat trigger in that. Also got info trigger there to our left. And yeah, like certainly with this map, like I was all set on playing Iowa Plains, but seeing this map coming out, I am rather tempted to do this map. So you got satellite station. Also, there are twelve collectibles, but so far. I cannot find any, I thought we'll have a look around here. Yeah, there's 12 collectibles, don't know what they are. Have not seen any. And yeah, as you go around, we also do have a little bit of forestry over there, so... Let's pull over here and have a look, so... Go to build mode, so yeah, got your animal pens over here. Got your chickens, pigs and that, cows. These are the cows with the feeding robots. Like also got got your like your tankers and that, like your spreaders there. Mind the collisions and yeah, there are some iffy collisions. And there's also buildings with no collisions whatsoever. We'll look at that in a sec once we're down. Let's turn that off a sec. Keep the map up there so we can have a little look as we go around. Oh, yeah. I mean, there is something up here, apparently. Ooh, what's that? I wonder. Let's go and have a little look. Ah, it's just the, yeah, a little water silo thing, like Bard's Colony sign. Yeah, I saw that. I thought, hmm, it looks a bit too far off to be that, but... Nope, just because of the amount of distance we're covering here. Oh uh, yeah, certainly. Like, we're driving on this service. We're at top speed, but we're only at 50 miles an hour. So there gonna be any collectibles here? I wonder. Can you? No. Try to find a way to claim that. Oh, we found the collectible. Ah, interestingly, it's cheese wedges. So. Ten thousand pounds yet for those, and yes, one of twelve. They can't climb to the top of that. So yeah, at least we find one collectible. So what's that? A hundred and twenty grand. And yeah, I think that is pretty much it for the round around the area. 
I'm going to head back down to the bottom here and actually I do wonder, is there a way? Yeah, I want to test the map, map boundaries a sec, so let's go and have a little look here. I'm thinking this area looks good. Headlights on and let's drive up. Nope. Okay, let's do a certain salt, but yeah, I am wondering, like, what is the map boundary like? Because, get the PD up. So, yeah, we're just crossing the area that we technically own. And we're on the outskirts now, in a way. Yeah, I was breaking this early on, so I was, like, having a little mess around in that, but... Can't break it, like, because you can if you jump, like, jumping off and, in a way, break the break the map, you can escape it. But anyway, so let's head back down to the main area we start off with. And we'll have a look around the rest of the farm. Actually, before that, let's have a look at the shuttle area. Because, yeah, the shuttle we saw at the start of the map tour. It comes from here. Pretty sure it does. And it looks like it was coming from like this vicinity direction. You know, it looks like got a bit of a takeoff in that landing area. And oh, we've got some relics up here. Let's have a look. And yeah, the map tour is going to be sort of a bit of a in depth. We'll have a look at other things as we go down to the bottom. But yeah, I am just fascinated to see on. What can we explore on this final frontier? And this is truly the last frontier. Yep, still can't read the map. And actually, let's go and... I know what, screw it, let's head down here. Oops. Yeah, I've got my it's got like 800 horsepower, so... Can no no don't do front flip. Just go sit down. There we go. Wee. Yeah, even like once around the bottom, like driving wise, it's yeah. I'm not sure if it's the mod itself, but anyways, we got our storage over here. And here we get confused on where everything is. There are signs, so. Here we got the fuel processing plant. So yeah, a lot of it is just general box texture details. Got your fuel station here. So yeah, and your electric charging point as well. Yeah. So this is where you get your fuel. And are these buildings openable? Nope, they're just solid blocks and that, so. And if these buildings over here open up. Would be nice if they did, but I don't these ones don't know. Anyways, that is our fuel processing plant, so it'd be nice if that was a mod in production, but anywho. As we're heading around our areas. So yeah, we've got the export to Earth. This is where you be selling most of your grain. And there is a crop window, and I'm pretty sure it's that base game. I'm not sure, but yeah, you do get rain and snow. Obviously, with that, there is because of the limits of Farm Sim 22 itself. There's only so much you could do with mods and scripts and that, or lack of script and mods and that for console players and that. But yeah, so go your export to Earth for all your grains. Sugar beet cut goes to the Bell Cells area, which we looked at earlier. And wool can be sold at Export to Earth. And yeah. Obviously, if you put modded supplements down, yes, it will work, but of course, where are you can set it to? The only logical cell point is the Export to Earth cell point. Over here, we've got our wood processing plant, so. Gets processed here. 
San Francisco and buy some milk. So yep, yeah, again base game, you're playing some woods now, get a bit of wood chips. You may get the noise and that of the wood production. There's no like souls or anything. Ooh, another cheese. Thank you very much. Uh, that's the thing, I'm not looking for the collectibles and I don't know where they are, I'm just going around as we're doing the map tour and that. So yeah, got some logs here. But I don't think, yeah, these are not collidable. But they're collidable, but they're not real logs to use for processing. But you do have a plethora of spruce trees all along here. And yeah, may not be a mega dense forest, but these are spruce trees, and I think they're at the final growth state, so. Yeah, going to need a large tree processor, like the one, uh, what was it, with the Platinum DLC, the, not Rotten one, of uh, the massive £750,000 dollar euro one. But yeah, still, got a good forestry area to plant your trees, got your transmitting tower, Got your lime station over here, and excuse me there. Oh yeah, it's got a little rock pile on that. And yeah, the rocks don't have any collisions whatsoever, but still got your debris crush on that. And that's the thing. I'm still gonna say this map. It's one of those. I know why it's quite low ranked on the world up, but yeah, with just a bit of imagination, storytelling, and creative detail. You can go far with this, so let's head into one of these pods, and yeah, I'm not going to show all of them, because they're all the same ones, just different album types, so let's open the airlock, whoosh, there we go, make sure it's fully closed, open this one. I've got a bit of greenery on this vast, <laughs> this very vast wasteland. And actually, I'm curious, how do these animals look in that? So, let's get a bunch of chickens in. Ah, yeah, so it's all just like within the normal base game pens and that. And. Yeah, cannot enter inside, so can we place stuff down on the inside if we wish? Let's say a shed. Ah, right. I shall make a trick for that. So, yeah, bear with me, so I want to see if I can have a little trick here of tricking the camera system, and that's going to be another thing as well. It's gonna be difficult to place stuff down. And no. Oh, yep, thought tried to sort of trick it through, so and yeah, I don't think there's a way to go through this and you can't even yeah, you can't delete the animal pen, so you cannot put any like customal animal placeables down. Which is kind of a bummer in that because Technically, this is the airlock, so... And this is, as far as I'm aware, just fast way side we're in the air, we're not in the cocoon, I don't think, by the looks of it. Yeah, we've got the massive doom, doom on top, but it doesn't look like it's glass. I think it's just, it looks like just pure metal now. But anyway, so we head down here. And this is where some of our equipment is stored. So you can have a look. Got your war tank over here. And yeah, this is going to be one of your main areas for equipment. So let's go and open this. Open this again. Again, it may not be perfectly sealed in that. 
Oh, right, yeah, I'm just used to those help menus and that there. So, yeah, nothing there to select. And yeah, this is where your trailers, your sprayers, and your tractors are stored. Or one tractor. Your combine and cotton harvester. Also got your corn header there. And yeah, hop back in. And yeah, so we've gone around, start to come back around. We looked at the ant pens, we looked... Oh, sorry, I forgot to show that. The farm side, though. So, yeah, technically, you do start off with some sugar beets. And I'm guessing that's why this is a modded one, because it accepts... Yeah, colony food storage. So, this is where you store all your food in that. And, yeah, just in general, it does look nice. Like, it looks something that would be really... Yeah, relatively close to real life. Oop. So yeah, you got one slow here, another slow here. And I guess, yeah, one, two, three. But anyways, yeah, back to that, sorry, it was like a bit of a brain fart moment there. So now I'm gonna start looking at some of the more less desirable areas of the map. First of all, yeah, I'd say electric charge area. Makes sense, got your solar panels there, so... And actually, any tractors you have, no, they're not electric, but do electric is there if needed. Builds itself, like, yeah, you've got 15 fields, but they are relatively good size, like, yeah, good size little chunks. And there's nothing to say, you know, you can't create them together and that create a mega field, so... Yeah, you've got your oil mill, this is where all your production is going to be for the most part. In the centre hub. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, I did not know that. Is that a bomb? A cheeky reset later, and yeah, I forgot to show, this is where your Mahindra is, over here, where the spawn area is. Over here, we've got one of your Masseys with Stone Picker. And also got another Massey with a Weight and a Cultivator. So yeah, we've looked in there already earlier, so yeah, let's go across here. And yeah, like, the production areas, I didn't mean that as in the bad point of the map. The bad point of this map is the command center over here, because... This is, again, a personal gripe. Got your greenhouses here. So yeah, got your command center. Ooh, looks good. Looks fancy. And, ooh, actually... Do not know that. So yeah, the collectibles that we've been finding is all convened here. So yeah, we find two cheese wedges so far, so we've got to find another ten. But yeah, so you've got your command center. Turn on your help menu, you're thinking, oh, open the door. Nope. It dry it's a drive through wall and it's just yeah, I don't like this, like... Yeah, like, it's, it looks weird, it looks off in that. I wish it was a... a more under now that to be animating that. Again, that's a personal gripe. I do make maps and that, I do make mods, and I know... There's a lot of work that goes into it, but... Yeah, the immersion, the story 10, the role playing is good. Just don't go in here and that. Or here as well, yeah. Apart from that, apart from the command center, that's why only grip I've got is with this map. That's like the only negative I can find about the map. But yeah, overall it is good. Like I can't fault it. Apart from that, apart from command center, it's a good map. And that, and yeah, I just don't get why it's so hated on the mod hub. Comment down below, what, if you, if you do like this map, what makes it not likeable? Because yes, overall, 
I cannot find anything seriously wrong with it. It's something different. Yeah, it's like Interstellar Traveler in a way, that sort of... The Earth is on its last legs, we're still farming here to send resources back to Earth. I can be, for example, I can see myself spending two, three, four hundred hours on here. Especially you got to plant like 10,000 trees in that over 20 years. Obviously with Farm Sim 22, with mods and that, that can be done in vintage is that, like with your big cedars and that, or big tree planters and that, with the capacities and that. But still, overall, a good cracking map by Farmer Bob. And yeah, if I had to rate it out of 5, I'd say a solid 3.5, 4 out of 5. Above average, it's good, it's decent. Oh yeah, I wish there was custom productions and that, and all that. However, that's what we've got mods for on the mod hub, so... Apart from that, yeah, that's pretty much covered everything, yeah, equipment-wise and that. That's all, yeah, all over here now. That's just looking at the equipment. Make sure I'm not missing anything. So yeah, slot count, I did say was... If I get rid of that... Yeah, 929 slots, I'm not sure if I said it. But yeah, oh yeah, one thing I did forget to say was about new farmer mode. So, obviously it's recommended to have it on new farmer mode. Because you have all of this. And otherwise, yeah, let me load up a, another save of this. Of how this map looks like when you're on farm manager or start from scratch. So yeah, here we are on start from scratch. So slot count is exactly the same. 929 slots. And yeah, the problem is you owe nothing. And to purchase the main area, that will cost you 11.6 mil. To purchase the outside, 9.3 mil. However, Thinking about it, so yeah, there's already cross planted. There's a couple of like, contracts already, and yeah, for the contract work itself, like three grand, three grand, four grand. So overall, not too bad. You know, you could come on here as a contracting employee in a way. The only problem is seat triggers and that. There ain't like a little plot land you can purchase. Oh, that would be nice if you had, like, a say, oh, like, if in the update this area becomes selectable separately, and you know, that can be purchased separately to everything else. So then you can place your seat trigger down, so whether it's a house, a tent, caravan, even though you wouldn't ship your caravan to Mars. Seriously, if you ship your caravan to Mars, there is something wrong with you on that. Caravans are immense as it is. And the only thing that should be shipped into space is towards the sun. But it makes that random crazy rank there is over. And yeah, like you still got your equipment here. It was farm manager start from scratch. The only thing is you can't place anything down. So yeah, if I go into build mode, have a little look. Greenhouse. There we go. Yep, land not owned. But then to overcome that, for those wondering, my suggestion would be is like what I do, and I'm pretty sure it's what Miss CP does when it comes to his stuff is or his maps and let's plays and that is start a multiplayer save. So for example, one person could be or one farm or multiplayer could be the owner of this, like the cooperative or government or whatever of Mars. The president of Mars could be Max Walt Watcher here. Yeah, all the contracts are by him, so hey, why not? But yes, as I was saying, yeah, someone could be that, or farm could be on that. Farm 2 could be you as a contracting employee in that. Make sure you have the correct 
apologies there, controller died, didn't realise, but yeah, make sure the person has correct permissions and that, so, so you can work on the map and that, you can still do contracts and that, if you wish, but yeah, the problem would be is, the person would have to, I'll say, own the outside, because yes, once you own the outside, you could do the contracting on the inside, in a way, and I'm pretty sure that's sleep trigger, have a look at the pixel, so arrows there. So yeah, there we go. Own that. That'd be a good way to do it. Put some money in or whatever. Whatever there's plenty of ways to put money in that. Especially with multiplayer you just load up in that. Ten farms, save the game, go single player and etc and that. Get about what two million at ten about ten million pounds or something like that. But yeah. Once you own this, you can still do the contracts on the inside, so that'll be a way to go about it. And yeah, that is a bit of a crazy way to end the map tour. But anyways, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mars the mission. I was, yeah, I was like, anticipating to see this on for a while because it was on the testing list for ages it was to get tested, like a couple of weeks now. But yeah, here it is. And overall, it doesn't disappoint. Yeah, again, that one little niggle. Apart from that, definitely a map I'll be maybe playing on in the near future. Bye, mates. Hopefully, you find this helpful and informative in some way. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, Distant Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.